now we are going to see some of the other settings in the course dashboard next one is explorer page click this explorer tab you will get this page just enable list the course in explorer so that it will be listed in the explorer page then in course abstract give the professor details Just I am giving a sample things. You can see the format in the online courses portal. Once it is done, save the option. Once you made that settings, you will be able to see this in the explorer page. Since we have not listed the course in explorer, it has not been viewed in this explorer. This is the previous course which we have done. Here you can see the professor's name, department and course duration. This is the thing which we are adding there in the explorer tab. Second thing is registration. Just go to registration. In the registration page you can see these fields. Here you have to give you have to enable the send welcome notification and in welcome notification sender we have to give online courses at npital.itm.ac.in then welcome notification subject will be the course name welcome to the course name welcome to matlab this is a course in my case and in welcome notification body you can give the basic details which will be sent to the students once they register into the course once they register this email will be automatically sent to the students here we have give some basic details like course name course begin date and details regarding the course such as uh, course url duration dates of exam everything Till we are opening the course, it will be in a not open stage and when we are opening the course, you can select the open tab. Once the course is closed, you will be selecting the tab closed. This is the settings in registration. This is the way we are opening and closing the registration for every course. And now we are going to see how to upload the introduction video.
just go to YouTube, log in with the course admin ID and select upload. When you are selecting upload for the first time, be sure whether you have login with the admin ID of the course and not with your personal ID. Once you have uh, logged in with the admin ID, it will be shown, showing you as NOC 16 and CK01, the course admin ID, then create channel. Select files to upload. Before uploading the files, select this as private and select the files to upload. I am having a sample introduction video. Once it is done, click done to confirm. It will get processed. Now your video is ready, click this link, you can view the video here, select the video id from the equal to and before the ampersand, you can see this enable thing, from e after equal to and to before ampersand, this is the video id for every videos which we are going to upload in online courses. For lectures also we are following the same format as uploading the video in YouTube. Then copy this video ID from here. Copy. Then go to the course dashboard in settings. In the course settings. Go to home page. We are in the home page. In the home page, you can see a tab course video. This is the place where we are going to paste the ID of the intro video. Just we are giving this ID and save the option. we have actually we have kept this video in private when we are uploading so now we are going to make it as public go to video manager select the video and make it as public It is made as public now. Now we can go and see it on the course page. Once we gave the ID in the course intro page, we will be seeing this intro video on the right side of the course intro page. Once all the settings were done and the registration has opened, Go to the home page.
Make the course available to students. Once the registration has opened, you will enable this. Until this, it will be in a disabled mode. Once the, it is open, it, we will click the checkbox. Make the course available to the students. Thus, all the settings were done. And here we are ready with the course intro page with the introduction video and all the details which we need.